And away from that now, the seventh uh, edition of the Bolaho Lushego Ishau a three a side football tournament had come to an end in Lagos. Now more than 16 teams participated in this year's edition. We'll have more details in the following report. <laughs> Seventh edition of the Bolawo Olushagungi Shiabu free aside football tournament has come to an end in Lagos. 16 teams participated in the 2022 edition, which also has a participation of female teams. Abrewa youths defeated their opponent Falomo 2-0 in the final to emerge champions. I'm feeling happy about this because the other team we play, they are better side. I've been watching their game since the game of the tournament. But God, God give me the glory. We come out victorious. Former chairman, Lagos State Football Association, told TVC News that this is a welcome development in the States. I'm for grassroots. I love football. That is where I belong to football. And I love the man in, in coach. The Honorable. He's still the same Honorable Bola in Ishau. We are all here because of him. So, and we should give him that support. He's been doing it to our, to our children, we parents, and everybody in the constituency. The organizer of the event is confident that this will yield results in the future, stating that it is a way of ensuring that the youth are kept off negative devices on the streets and in the states. And we have used sports here and we we'll continue to use it to bring them together. That is the idea. They played football, they played annually. We have introduced table tennis now. We are going to introduce basketball also for them so that they'll continue to be able to come together and engage, uh, engage their mind. Sports is said uh, to be a key tool in bringing people of different ethnic groups together. And here at Falomo on the bridge in Lagos, it's been an amazing moment using football, tennis, and other sports in bringing the youth together in the center of excellence. Mian Akiri, TVC News, Lagos.